Nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! <laughs> Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. Between you two. What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so <clears throat> clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, <laughs> I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. There's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> it, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? Need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Oh, give it a spin. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. Robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean, what? 
I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get the Tommies. I know, I am too. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joe. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when he cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, look, well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Get some food in. Oh. 
Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence from the plant hey, You still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. <laughs> Not much of a guard dog. No, that's a good boy. Maybe good to have her around. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No luck. Good luck. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. That's good. Tommy's there. Good to go. Jimmy. One. Good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. Two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? I've oh, come her, on. I know, I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither. But I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. You finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. 
Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Oh, oh, man. They were coming in from every direction, and then Maria was like, we gotta run, and so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with slow a down, shotgun. Slow down, slow down, Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? What's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? Talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? No, talk about it later. Later. Right. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. I just saw her riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Careful out there. There. Yeah. Track. Yeah. She couldn't have gotten far. We'll find yeah. her. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. She usually police stunt. <laughs> Nothing like this. What's going on? Come on. Look, by the ranch. That's our horse. She's got to be there. The area looks clear.
Be careful. Ellie? Ellie! I'm here! Jesus Christ. I'll keep an eye out. I reckon you guys need to have a chat. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time! Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than... that... Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy! Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. I got two walking in. There's more inside already. I'll search out of here. Go check over there. Come out, you coward. Whoa, oh. Check down there. House is clear. Let's get back to the horses.
We're clear. You want a hand up? I got it. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. No big horns. <laughs> Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. Care that wife here. There's a place for you here. You know. You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Man, it's confusing. <laughs> you just gotta play it a couple times. It all makes sense. How many people do you think are there? The fireflies, I mean. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. <laughs> yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. Hey, I was thinking... I would've wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. What about you? What do you want? Well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. No serious. Sing something. Ah, uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. Aw, are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. That was kind of awesome. First time seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. Here you go. Should we have seen someone by now? 
Maybe these guys like to keep a low profile. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look. Fireflies. I see it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Boom. Scoot. Inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. There you go. Thanks. Let's look around. Yoo-hoo! Fireflies! You're making it over here. Anyone? Let's keep it down until we figure out what's going on. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Good, right? We found out where they went. Shit. Um, so it's probably clickers, right? No, clickers don't hide. Maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monkeys. Just keep searching, we'll find something. Yeah, no shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were... Fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Come on. Looking for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. <laughs> Good luck with that. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 
I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? Shit. Joel, here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. 
You gotta tell me what to do. You gotta get up. 